Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're gonna look at the new feature in Microsoft Teams called Command Box. And before we get started, just wanted to remind you that I'm posting every week at the moment. So if you don't wanna miss anything, please hit subscribe. Okay, so from wherever you are in Teams now, you see the Command Box at the top. And if you click into it, you can type a keyword to search for. So let's search for sales. You can see the results is pulled back already are the sales keyword and also a channel called sales in the team store portal. So if I choose that, it's going to take me directly to the channel and I can see the conversations going on. Now let me type that same keyword again and this time I'll search for the keyword. And now I get sent to a search page and I can see the results on the left hand side here. I've got messages first. I've also got people and I've got files all associated with the keyword sales. So I can choose here one of the messages which will take me directly to a conversation and I can also move to the channel that the conversation's in. So another way you might want to use this is searching for people. So in this situation I'm working on a project and I'm looking for other people that are working on it too. So I'm going to use a keyword this case project I'm going to search for project and I get some messages back and I can see Adele Vance she knows something about the project I'm working on so I go to the message that she's written in and and I can also go to the channel that the conversations in now with the command box I can also do a command using the forward slash which gives me a list of all the possible commands I could use so it's not just about search you can actually run little apps if you like so I can choose forward slash org and then it asks me for a name and I can start typing Adele and it picks up Adele and that would take me to the org chart that Adele sits in so you can see there's Adele and there's all her peers and her leadership I can also call Adele through the command box so if I do forward slash call Adele it goes away and calls her for me. Another way to use the command box is to find out information about yourself or change information about yourself. So you can do that, for example, with the files command. So if I go forward slash files, it will show me the recent files I've been working on in a little drop down here. So I can choose the file and it will open up in Teams. And I can also edit it in Teams if I want to, or open it up in Excel online or Excel fat client as well. And finally, it's good for team navigation as well. So if I was to come up to the command box and type saved, it's going to show me all the messages that I've bookmarked in my saved list. And I can also do a forward slash go to, which will go right to a team or a channel and it will drop down all the ones that I'm a member of already. And I can also free type one. So I just choose it and it takes me directly there. So that's a quick overview of the new command box in Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.